These are the shoes that skaters say are better than Nike SB Dunks. Recently, this company, Plea Shoes, has been sending me shoes, and I've seen a bunch of comments saying like, yo, it's whack that you skate Dunks, whether they're rep or they're real, when they're skateboard companies that make shoes that are way better. Personally, I'm just grateful to Plea Shoes for like keeping shoes on my feet, because as a small YouTuber, I don't make a ton of money, so not having to worry about keeping shoes on my feet, like really simplifies things. But whenever I get these comments, this is the shoe that seems to always get brought into the conversation. It's the S XL Slim. This one is the Wade Desarmo colorway. The homie Richard was kind enough to actually send these. And I want to see if these shoes live up to all the hype of these skateboarders saying that they are better than Nike SB Dunks. So today we're going to run over to the skate park, see how these shoes hold up durability wise over one session. But also I want to check out the board feel, the flick, and just how comfortable they are in general. So let's head to the skate park and test them out. All right, so we just got to the park. I'm going to do 50 tricks today and after each set of 10 tricks I'm gonna stop and give you an update on how the shoes are actually performing throughout the session. Ten tricks in. The first thing I notice is the shoes are like the name says, very, very slim. So compared to skating dunks, you have to be like a lot more precise with your foot placement. It's not a bad thing, it's just something I gotta get used to because the shoes just take up less surface area on your grip. So I only did one kickflip, but it was first try. And definitely these shoes are a little bit pointy and they give you that little like extra like whip with your flick. We'll see over the course of the session if it's too much whip. But yeah, first impressions, the shoe is just very, very slim. All right, let's get up to 20 tricks now. I'm not gonna talk about the durability till the end, but as far as like the wearability, like they're breaking in super quick. For whatever reason, when I like Ollie, this shoe particularly like really grabs my nose in the right way. I feel like I have a lot of control with like the Ollie and like the sliding part of my Ollie. So that's always like a really big confidence booster because when you're Ollieing well, you feel in control. So I keep on thinking to myself like, would I ever consider switching to these shoes like permanently? If I had to skate these shoes for the rest of my life, like would I be hyped or would I be bummed? I'm not quite sure yet, but yeah, let, let's keep skating. Let's get it to 30 tricks and then check in again. Shoes are feeling good. For a cupsole, they feel like really, really thin, which I think is a good thing, but probably not for jumping down or anything. But as far as like doing super tech tricks, I mean, this is Wade DeSharmo's colorway, so it makes sense that he would want to skate these type of shoes for all the tech tricks that he's doing. It gives you good foot support, but it's not like a bulky shoe at all. All right, that's 30 tricks. Let's see if we can take it to 40.
not sure if that was 50 trick, but I'm swear I'm starting to get heat stroke. So before I show you the wear and tear on the shoe, I want to talk about how they skated. First off, I feel like there's a lot of good board feel with a cup sole shoe like this. Like it's as close to a vulcanized shoe as you can get with a cup sole, which if you're jumping off stuff, that's probably not the best. But as far as like doing like tech trick, feeling confidence that the board is not going to hurt your feet. I think that's a huge plus. I feel like this insole is maybe like five out of 10. It's not like the greatest insole ever. And again, this outsole is like very, very thin. So some people are gonna like that. Some people are gonna hate it. The toe on this shoe is like really, really pointy. Like I feel like the shoe is pretty wide from the midfoot back, but from the midfoot forward, it's like really, really narrow. And I, I could definitely feel like my pinky toe was getting pinched right here. That's probably something that will like go away as the shoes break in to my foot. But the problem with it is that these S shoes already fit a half size small. So I normally order eight and a half and these are eight and a half. However, because they fit small, I feel like that's why it's pinching my toe is because they just run a little bit small. But the issue is if I were to order a nine, maybe the pinky toe problem would go away. But then I feel like this toe would be like way, way too long. For me, I definitely think I could get used to these shoes and like really enjoy skating them. But as far as like the people that are claiming that these skate like dunks, like that's not true at all. These are like so narrow, super thin. Dunks are really chunky chunky and wide. There's a lot of padding in dunks, which is one thing I liked about this shoe. I feel like there's good padding, but it's not like overwhelming. Like dunks are kind of poofy. So really my biggest complaint about these shoes is just how narrow the midfoot to the forefoot is. Like other than that, I just feel like they skated really, really well. Now, as far as the wear and tear, I mean, you can see a little bit right here on the toe some scuffs along the side of the shoe. Surprisingly, there's a lot of wear and tear in this area right here. I think due to the shape of the shoe, I might be catching my ollies like a little bit more in this area. And that's why that's getting worn a lot more than other shoes that I skate. But all things considered, I do see why people really like this shoe. Shout out again to Richard for hooking me up with these shoes. And again, please shoes for sending me all the fake dunks. I don't care if you think it's whack. It's nice that I don't have to buy my own shoes. So thanks for watching guys. Remember to make every single day Friday and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.